Bye. You know, this business of reporting snow depths is a lot of darn foolishness sometimes. Uh, when we have a good season, why we uh, boast about our snow depths, but when we have one with not too much cover, then we just tell people that we only ski on the surface. Of course, the surface is something we can control anyway. We've got a whole fleet of machines, all kinds of equipment to work it over at night, and the crews work through the night, sometimes five or six nights a week. Okay, ready? Okay, Mark. Start. Have a good one. Three, Head up. two, one, go. Go for it, Mark. Jump. What more is going to Jump. Mike. Yeah. one thing my father was always interested in, in the children and younger people to learn how to ski. So here we have a great opportunity for all the local kids. We have junior race programs, and we're teaching them all different techniques. Uh, here at Cranmore, we have a very successful one. Uh, we have over 90 kids enrolled in it, and uh, they come here every weekend. Well, this is uh, the culmination of the junior program. We've been running all year long. Eastern Slope Ski Club sponsors it. And the kids from seven different schools throughout the valley, they get out of school one afternoon a week, and they come to the mountain here where they're given lessons in skiing, all the way from snowplow up through racing. And at the end of the year, we have a race day, where all the kids compete against each other for prizes and stuff. And we set up different courses for each ability group. Wildcat's got an excellent program, as Adatash, Tyrol, they all do. And it's amazing the uh, interest all those kids are showing and how eager they come out here at 9 o'clock in the morning, raring to go. Uh, out to the training center they go and start scraping skis, start waxing skis. Just can't wait to get on that snow and try out their new skills. <laughs> on top of the knoll, I slid right out of the course. Yeah. I slid through a gate and climb up to another one. And they enjoy it. It gives them a lot of competitive spirit and uh, another interest in skiing, keeps them active. And they get a kick out of it. Ready to start. Okay, Tad, go for Five, brother. Four, three, two, one, go. Stay! Ladies and gentlemen, the first annual Mount Cranmore Spring Festival Skill Canoe Race is underway. All spectators are asked to please be careful as some competitors may lose control of their canoes. Black Mountain. Wildcat. Fatatash. Except in late spring, man, then there's no place like Tuckerman Ravine. One of the best alpine ski areas in the east, and one of the latest places you can ski. The season doesn't even start the idle, sometime in late March and early April. It's really no wonder that a lot of people come to ski the ravine. It's a real thrill to ski the, the head wall and come off the summit of Mount Washington down the snow fields head over the lip of the ravine when you can't even see what's below you, you don't know what you're skiing toward. Then to come over the lip onto the headwall itself, about 55 degrees, 
shoot straight down the head wall into the bottom of the bowl below. Well, if you're tired of living, you could shoot it straight down, but most people try to break their speed with quick turns. Now, well, as far as I'm concerned, that's, this is really what skiing is all about. You know, there aren't any lifts to haul you up the mountain, and if you've got a two-mile hike after that when you get up to the base of the bowl, then you've got to hike on up the face until you get beyond the head wall. At that point, you can collapse, I guess, and eventually ski back down, or you can keep on hiking on up to the summit and start from there. If you fall coming down like the face of the bowl, chances are you aren't going to stop until you hit bottom. That's true. A lot of people come up just to watch or just to be seen at the ravine, but mostly it's the people who really like skiing, you know, who like the idea of taking on a, a real mountain. And they'll break their backs to get all the way up to the top. And Once in a while, you, know, you hit just that perfect spring day, and then coming down, you know, there's nothing like it. but we generally end up back here in the valley. We like the mountains, and we like the skiing, and we like the people. I firmly believe that the future of skiing in the eastern United States uh, is in the Mount Washington Valley. The new ideas are going to come from this area, and I genuinely feel that this is where the action is. If you could make me feel I'm not like all the rest, I'd have a reason to believe. If you could say me good, you don't have to be best to be yourself is all you need but that's all fantasy so kiss me one last time and say good luck i'll see you when then you go your way and i guess that i'll go mine and i won't bother you 